This is going Olimar. That's uh ooh, thank you again for the uh, the penny bit. And let's get into this. Game one. So last week to Buzz didn't go Olimar at all, uh, trying to see how far he could do. Uh, ended up placing fourth with just uh, Rosa and if he played anyone else, uh, some hero, I guess. Uh, but this this week, nah, he's just going straight Ollie. Thank you again for the penny bit, Winky Smash. Keep him coming. And we're seeing Tilde Fox actually going Fox. For those who don't know, his at is Tilde Fox. And then he became a Falco main. It's pretty funny. But yeah, right now, uh, kind of a two to one uh, hit ratio here in DeBuzz's favor. Although Tilde trying to close the gap. Ooh, don't be swinging on Olimar's shield like that. Especially when you do up tilt. That's hella minus ever since like Smash 4. And DeBuzz is going to take that first stop with an up throw. Thank you, It's Phoenix, for the penny bit. Let's go, Tilde. Bye, 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 bye. Ooh. So Tilde mentioned before this set, and I'm not trying to pre John for him. He was just like, he's never played against Olimar in his life. And you can kind of tell, like, he's just, like, falling for things going on here. Yo, thank you, D1, for the resubscription, my man. Miss you, love you. Hope to see you soon. And, uh, yeah, so. Uh. You see that Tilde's, like, trying to find, like, what openings he can get. Uh, and like without overextending and like he's gotten a few overextensions just from the inexperience and like he's now going for like those low cooldown options he's going for that you know a lot of those falling back airs just trying to be like hit 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 stay out of range and uh, yeah ooh that might okay the but uh, he once he realized he hit his shield he kind of like tried to cut that as short as possible to make it that like he has to like be optimal to get that punish going. But now, you know, DeBuzz sitting at 174, so. And all of them are super light, but till they finally gonna get that stock with the runoff of the platform back air. But at 120 to zero, things aren't looking good. He can try and get some damage, ooh. So DeBuzz was able to uh, get out of that string by, oh no. He's not coming back from there. He was able to get out of that string by using the armor from the whistle. And I think Tilde was like ultra not ready for that because of just like how he reacted. And he just got hit really hard. Uh, you also saw that like the buzz kind of like baited him with just positioning. And that uh, that air dodge was just like, uh, like nervous. It was just nerves. So really, I just want, I kind of want to see uh, how you can already tell he is doing better. Uh, since like the very first stock, uh, so if he can, he's if he if he's able to ride that out to the next game, then you know we might see some nice adaptation. But I don't know if I would go for stuff like that. I mean, so when you do falling nair on them, you kind of can't react to do the up smash. You have to string it, so you have to do it as a combo and just like kind of know you're gonna get it. So I think he was just ready. Uh, that he kind of just had the comps to go for it, or, you know, just like do it as a reset to get the like roll or something. Three penny bits from Phoenix. Hyping up. All right. Yeah, so you can already kind of see uh, Tilde getting a much better grasp on this. And while that. Okay. <laughs> All right. Still, uh, I'll stand by that I do think that he's got definitely a better grasp on like just the neutral and how he's supposed to be approaching uh, Alamar in general. So, uh, yeah. So I'm curious what the buzz is going to strike. So he's getting rid of Yoshi's story and Battlefield. All right. All right, so we're going to Kalos. Hmm. Okay, so I can definitely see. So this is like both good and bad. Oh, he's gonna be going Falco. All right. I mean, this is kind of like the Fox and Falco. I think would have fairly similar game blends on those platforms. The only thing is that 
you're going to see a lot, a lot, and I mean a lot of, like, uh, wall bounces from Falco. Because, you know, yes, Fox can do it too, but because of, like, how much bigger uh, Falco's jump is, um, you know, he, he's able to variable a lot of things. So he can either use his second jump or do wall jump, and, like, he can just keep that air, that vertical airspeed super variable and, like, super bursty. And, like, with the kind of aerials that he has, you know. So, one thing, though, that I'm a little bit worried about, and we're already kind of seeing it, is that you have Tilde already at 90, DeBuzz at 15, 16 damage, and, uh, like, I feel like he was building a game plan as Fox. At least I feel he was. And so, like, going another character, you kind of, like, you, you have a little bit of data that carries over, but, you know, there's still, like, you're, you're kind of going in with another clean slate. And I think that if he had stayed Fox, we might have seen, like, a little bit more polish just from, like, the small amount of the, like, gap he was closing in that first game. Oh, but that reflector actually come in really in handy, you know. If he just wants to keep harassing him, then he can just, like, reflect it, which is great. Because the Pikmin do count as projectiles. Okay, I like that. So, right now, he's at 170. Uh, but the way he's staying back, and, you know, he is his main right now. So, his, his spacing is going to be a little bit more polished, more refined. And, yeah, we're seeing a lot, like, right now, once you're past a certain percent, it doesn't really matter. Uh, you're gonna die in general, like if you get if you misstep and uh, finally get a bit of a misstep from Tilde. But he was able to build 90 damage before getting that kill, so you know uh, you can definitely tell that he's definitely learned quite a bit from that first game. And he's going his main now. And you see that's what I'm talking about. You see how he did the wall jump first and then the uh, the second jump. He just kind of like blasted up there to hit him. Yeah, this is definitely a lot more even now. Ooh. I wonder if that was supposed to be back air. I felt that it was supposed to be back air, but then when he did, like, first hit fair, like, it was an interesting idea. Ooh, all right. So getting the Falco Phantasm uh, into back air to actually get out that stock. And now I'm being joined by Vinya. You All right, we're here. Game two? Yeah. How was game one? Game one uh, was not too great. Tilde was Fox, and it, like, wasn't going too well. Uh, he did kind of, like, try to see, uh, like, close the gap a little bit, but he eventually got JV2. He did bring it okay. to the last stock, but then it kind of died immediately after. In this game, we're seeing a lot more, like, he's able to stall out the game a lot better, you know, just by using the reflector. And, like, you know, Falco's definitely his stronger character. Yeah. For sure. He was able to live to 174 uh, <laughs> on his first stock, and he got to buzz to about 90 to 100 and he uh, before him. he died. So we're kind of seeing a repeat right now. If, oh my god. Dude, he that, up smashed himself. Yeah, oh my god, that's because they count his projectiles even He's in dead. smash decks. He, he is dead. All right. Bro, Venya, you're good luck for him, man. Yo, that's wild, bro. Oh my god. I really love okay. That was, I, I respect how fearless the buzz was in that. Yeah. Like he got hit and he was like, I'm still gonna spike you. Yeah, he was just like, oh he can be as tricky as he wants with his wall bounce and his Falco air bird jump, but I'm gonna get him. Yeah. He's off stage. I have advantage. Alright, Tilde in the lead now. <gasps> he has no oh, jump. Oh my god. He has no jump. I don't know, but there's not too much Falco can do about that. Yes, like, he has his forward air, bro. What do you mean? Well he didn't do it. Yeah, that, but all right. No, oh, yep. right. yeah. <laughs> oh, DeBuzz getting, oh, the, getting the troops in order. Also, I still think it would be kind of risky because, like, the way Olimar up B is, he could literally, like, weave in and then out and be like, huh. But, like, if he your knows you're going to go off stage, he starts, like, trying to weave in and stuff when he doesn't have to. You can, like, scare him. Yeah. Oh, he's dead. Never mind. Is that a missing put? Yeah, that was su a super missing yeah. put. See, this is what I kind of, this is what I hate the most. When I have a lead, I know one more hit, I'm going to, okay, never mind, we kick through Pikmin out here. 
What Thanks I was gonna to say is when you have the like the you know next interaction you might just win the match and you're not really in danger of anything, but now you know like nothing is happening. Mm -hmm. I hate that moment the most. Cause it's just like oh, I should be trying to pressure him. He should he should be scared, but I don't want to go over there and get killed. Not here yet. No, he he back here to yellow. Boom. Bam. Yeah. Crack, crack that helmet. All right, so Tilde going to get rid of FD and Lilat. Uh, pretty understandable. You know, like, Alamar juggle game is no joke. And uh, just, like, those angles actually, like, uh, will really help Alamar. Yo, I feel like that game, too, turned around mm -hmm. once Tilde ups um, reflected that up smash, yo. Yeah. Once that happened, I was like, oh, my. We need big Tilde energy. I need some more bits in the chat. Come on, guys. You got this. <laughs> Yo, Tilde can do this. He can. As I was saying earlier, I feel like Tilde is like one of the people I would be more confident in how he does against the Buzz. Yeah. Three, two, Tilde, Tilde has like that melee player mindset. All right, so game three, we're seeing PS2. Uh, so. I think that the buzz would pick the stage as a way to build up extra space, you know? Like, PS2 is mad wide, so if right. he needs to round the troops up, you know, put uh, bench some others, he can do it. And, like, you see that Tilde is not going super in, because he knows that he needs to keep his distance. So... Yeah, it's like, kind of like Olimar, you kind of... It, he's It's weird where you... Look, he, look, he brought that back in one, one interaction, bro. Yeah. That's what that's what Alomar does. Oh, Whoa. okay. Got it. No, it's hard. That's Get hard. Him. Get him. That's like that was a very hard edge guard. Yeah. Uh, unlike uh, game two where they're on Kalos, there's like it's a pillar stage, so you can't go under. So it'd be a lot easier for like Falco to have some sort of edge guard there. Yeah, exactly. But in that situation, like Dare is not on the chopping block there. Oh. Ooh. All right. All right, very patient. I kind of like I kind of like the patience from both parts. The boss could die right now, and Tilde doesn't know what's going on. So, <laughs> all right, that. So, one thing we're already seeing the difference between game two and three is that before. The buzz would build like a crap ton of damage and then till they would like close the gap. But they were going hella even in percent just now. Yep. So the buzz was still able to get out that first stock, but he's he's like, yeah, th that's it. That's the pressure. So two stock, six minutes. Well, you know, zero zero. Ooh. Oh, all right, here comes the up tilt. Ooh. He's too floaty. Yeah, he's also tiny. Yeah, he's gonna start hitting you hard. He is too hard for his owner, yo. Ooh, it revised side B. Now, is the buzz gonna be able to do something with this lead? Cause you, oh, it's out. Uh. Falco, why are you missing, man? I hate that. You get the grab and the Falco just misses. All right, this is oh, this is good. rough. This is yeah. rough. He'd have to get the kill like now with like some crazy thing because like he doesn't have the percent to just like get a kill confirm. Did they call me again? I'm not sure. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, he has to go deep like that. He has to. It's gonna be really difficult. Oh, he almost spiked him. He saw he landed the uh, the phantasm while he was in the air, so he got spiked, but he was able to. I think he teched it, and like he won't get shot up. Yeah, if he if he wasn't in the air when he got hit with that, he would have got killed. But uh... okay. Fire. Nice angle. Oh yeah, that's the coverage. That's like when you stretch to like get past them, 
And it's just like, no, you got to retreat back, you know. It's like as important as it is to like try and get back onto that center stage, if you do it uh, while exhausting all of your options, it's like, here's this free hit. Yeah, exactly. And this time it killed. That was good on tilt day, though. Mm -hmm. Very good play. I think I have to play again, so. All right. Good luck, man. Good luck to me.